Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys a tag video. This is going to be the fall favorites tag. I wasn't tagged by anybody, we already know this. I saw it on YouTube and I was like, hey, I tagged me. So I was tagged by myself. I wanted to film, I knew I wanted to film, but I didn't know what I wanted to film. And I didn't, I had my makeup on already, so it wasn't like I could film like a get ready with me or a tutorial or anything like that. So I was digging through YouTube opening the YouTube vaults and I was looking for some tags and I found this one and I was like hi I could do that even though we're literally like touching on the winter months already it's still fall technically so don't try to get on me so first question is favorite face product favorite fall face product products for the fall for the face <laughs> my favorite face product all year round is gonna be primer Primer to me is super duper important every season for a different reason. We got Dr. Seuss in the house. I think primer is very important in the summer because in the summer you don't want your face to like melt off and just like hang out on the street next to you. That's not cute. And then I feel like it's very important in the winter months because I feel like, and the fall months are included in that, winter fall. Because I feel like your skin needs a little bit more hydration in the winter months. Even if you're oily, your skin does get a little bit drier. So you do want to kind of moisturize it a little bit more. And depending on the primer that you use, you know, it can go like either way. Now, I'm not showing you an actual physical primer here because I don't have a favorite primer. I know I said that the Becca Evermatte Poreless Perfecting Primer, I think that's the whole name, is my favorite primer of all time and I do stand by that. I do really, really, really love that primer. But for the fall and winter months, it's a little bit too drying. And all my other primers are kind of just me. Okay. So that's my favorite face product, primer. Number two is favorite cheek product. You would think that my favorite cheek product would be a highlighter because of how in love with highlighter I am. But no, it's not a cheek. It's not a, it's not a cheek product. It's not a highlighter. <laughs> Um, I debated bringing in some highlighters, but I was like, you know what? There's something that has just been a go-to for me in these couple of months. Even though I'm not the type of person who goes by, ooh, I have to wear this in the fall and this in the winter and this in the summer and this in the spring. I'm not that type of person at all. I will wear color in the fall and I will wear vampy lips in the summer. So, let's just be real. But, um, I feel like the product that I'm going to show you is fall appropriate. So everything that I'm showing you is not just something that I would use in the fall. It's something that I feel is fall appropriate. So I'm going to show you this blush from NYX. This is called Mocha. I have talked about this multiple times already and I will probably continue to talk about it. I do really... Where are you going? Where are you going? I do really love this blush. I did swatch it already because I already did film this video. And it's right here and I just... I just love this blush. It's kind of more on the like darker, plummy side of things, which I feel like is the most appropriate for fall. It's not what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, but what I am wearing on my cheeks today will be listed down below. It's like, it's just the most perfect blush. I literally, this is how I find myself doing my makeup. Okay, so which blush am I going to use today? Uh, NYX Mocha, and I go into my drawer, and then I'm just like, Katie, you used it for like the past three weeks. Can we use another blush, please? So it's like... I have to try so hard not to use this blush every single day. I really do love it. And the formula of these NYX blushes is serious. Seriously, I don't know where they've been my whole life, but I want the whole collection because they are perfect. So this is the NYX blush in Mocha. The next question is favorite eye product. Eyeshadow. So I feel like the most appropriate types of colors to wear in the fall are warm brown colors. And... I mean, those are my favorite types of colors to wear at all time, as I'm wearing bright pink eyeshadow. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I love color eyeshadow. I love color a lot. I really do, especially green. But I feel like warm browns are just so, so appropriate in the fall months. So the color that I'm going to show you is by Makeup Geek. And I'm sure you can already guess what it is. And it's this color right here where this finger is. Hello. This is called, can you guess, Coco Bear. Coco Bear is just the most beautiful, perfect, 
warm brown that ever existed. I mean, honestly, any type of warm brown, like Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna color, I love that. Morocco, I love that. Um, brown script by MAC, I love that. So any type of warm brown color is just like right up my alley. Those are the colors I go straight towards. If I walk into a Sephora and I see a warm brown, I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's go. <laughs> so I just watch it right here, and that is Coco Bear. I feel like in the crease, it just pulls the entire look together, especially in the fall. But like I said, I will wear this in the winter, in the spring, and you are not going to tell me nothing. <laughs> Number four, favorite lip product. I love lip products. I love buying lip products. I love wearing lip products. I just feel like they make the entire look. Because I could wear this with a nude lip. I could wear this with, I mean, you know, other people probably wouldn't wear it with the lip that I'm wearing now, but I'm just saying. I could wear this with different lips and it will literally change the entire feel of the look. Right now, I'm going for like a grungy, like dark, dark, vampy, gothic type look. But if I changed my lip color to like a nude lip color, it would just be like a colorful look. You know what I'm saying? So lip colors to me are everything. Now, all the products that I'm mentioning right now are recent favorites, by the way. They're not like lifelong favorites. They're just recent favorites. My favorite lip product at the moment is something that has impressed me in ways I cannot even tell you guys. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I have always struggled with finding the perfect vampy lip for myself. And yes, this is a vampy lip. This is not a black lipstick. So just in case somebody says, oh, but you're wearing black. I'm not wearing black. You're wearing black. So I always struggled finding the perfect vampy lip for myself because I feel like I'm so picky. I feel like all of the like vampier lips that I've seen are like dark reds, like Lime Crimes Wicked, which is a beautiful color. But for me, it's not the perfect vampy lip. And they're like burgundies or like auburns or like purples that are dark purple but not really that dark of a purple. And I always find myself grabbing a really dark lip pencil like Max Night Moth to like deepen up all my vampy lip colors because they're not vampy enough. I always wanted something that was like super duper 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 close to black. Like black. Okay, say black is like right here. I want this. So, I don't want this, I don't want this, I want this, this. <laughs> I always struggled finding that perfect color, and when I put this on my lips today, it was just like heaven sent. This lipstick just answered all my prayers. So, on top of the fact that the formula is amazing. So, this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick. I am also wearing the lippy pencil on my lips today, but the lippy pencil is in my purse. So, we're just not even going to go grab that right now. And this is called Feminist, and this is a matte lipstick. It's swatched on my hand. Why am I showing you? Like, what is that? <laughs> it's swatched right here. It's the dark, the dark purple. It is a dark purple. If you look at it, this is not black. This is a dark purple color. I guess it just looks black on my lips. But I just think this answered all of my prayers. I love this color so much. I'm so happy that I have it. And the ColourPop Lippy Sticks formula is magnificent it's magnificent I don't know what they did in here whatever's going on in here I like it it's like this is a matte formula and right now my lips feel probably more moisturized than they did before I even put this on and on top of that it's super long wearing and when I tell you long wearing I probably put this on what time is it right now let's, let's just let's just look at the time I before I look at the time let me tell you what time I put it on I put it on around let me see I left my house at 9:30. 8.45. We'll say 8.45. And right now it's 8 o'clock. Look at my babies and he's so cute. So right now it's 8 o'clock. So almost 12 hours. And I only had to reapply this one time. And that was right after lunch. Because you know I get a little savage. <laughs> and it was just right in the center. On the outlines of my lips was perfect. I didn't even have to touch it a little bit. To me, that is an insane wear time, especially for something that doesn't feel drying whatsoever on the lips. So I, I don't know what ColourPop did in here, but for the fall, everybody's lips gets dry during the fall. And don't tell me it doesn't because I know it does. So I just feel like these ColourPop lippy sticks are going to be like heaven sent because they don't dry out your lips. And at the same time, they're matte, like they're completely matte. They're completely matte. There's no shine, shimmer, nothing. It's just matte, and I just love it. So this is definitely my favorite lip product for 
the fall. Next question is a favorite hair product. If you guys know me, you already know I'm skipping this question because I don't have a favorite hair product. I don't, I don't, I don't even want to think about having a favorite hair product. Me and my hair, the relationship that we have is a very, um, it's a respectable relationship. We try to keep it very cordial. We don't want to make a scene or anything like that. However, we're not friends. We're not friends. You know, we don't let people know that we're not friends, but we're just not friends. We don't get along. Every time we try to talk it out or just try to form a relationship again, it just doesn't work out. And we just end up hating each other again. So, me and my hair, not buddies. I don't try to treat it with anything because I'm not his friend. So, number six is favorite fragrance slash candle scent. I actually have both, so I'll start with the candle scent. My favorite candle scent, well, let me just say, anything that has to do with cinnamon sticks or cinnamon or cinnamon apple cinnamon I don't care what it is cinnamon something I love cinnamon so pretty much any type of scent that has to do with cinnamon I am in there like swimwear but I recently found this other candle and this is a Yankee candle and this is called autumn wreath like does it not say fall like right there no it actually said right there autumn so this candle it smells like pine cones but like fresh and like I just love this candle. The only thing I don't like about this candle is that when I blow it out, it makes my whole room stink. It's like the weirdest thing. You know how when you blow out candles, usually it's like it makes the smell more prominent? I feel like this one just makes it stink. Like, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. But I love this candle. I am burning this candle like 99% of the time. And I don't know what I'm going to do with my life when it goes over, when it's like down, because I'm not buying another Yan Yankee candle. Elver actually bought me this Yankee candle because I was like begging him. <laughs> I was like, I just want a Yankee candle. <laughs> so he bought me this one and um, no, it's never going to happen again. It's, I'm not going to, no, it's ridiculous. So that's my favorite scent, candle scent. As for perfume, this is not going to be something that I wear particularly in the fall, but it's something that I think is more fall appropriate. And this perfume is so... Oh, I love this perfume. I'm wearing this perfume today. And this is by Givenchy. And this is called... I'm just... I don't think I can pronounce this name, but I'm gonna try, okay? No, but I really can't pronounce this name. Okay, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna put it on the screen here as well, because I'm gonna butcher this uh, so hard. But I'm gonna try anyways. It's called Angel Del Mon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be French. I'm not French, but um, Angel Del Mon. Angel, Angel Del Mon. I think that was good enough. So, and it says Les, les Secret, which is Les Secret, I guess, on the bottom. I know there's different types of this um, particular perfume. Like, I've seen like one that's like... Um, a black bottle or something like that. There's different ones, but this is the only one that really is just like my boo. And it, let me tell you right now, because my mom hates this perfume. This perfume is strong as all hell. This is the strongest perfume like of life. It's so strong, it lasts on my body all day, but like that's the type of stuff that I like. Like Flower Bomb, I love that perfume. That's probably my favorite perfume. But this one's a little bit more strong than Flower Bomb. So think about Flower Bomb like on crack. And that's like what this is. It's like, it's so strong. And I love strong scents. So I really do enjoy this perfume. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. And I sprayed it, let's say, like around 8.45. And now I still smell it. And it's not just because it's in my hand. <laughs> I, I didn't re-spray it or anything. So I just love this perfume. Oh my god. This is like me in a perfume bottle, I think. And when this runs out... Hopefully they're still selling it, but when this runs out, I'm going out and I'm buying it again and I'm buying it again. And this, to me, is the closest thing to a signature scent that I will get. It's so, it's just so me. It's so strong, it's so sexy, and I just love it. So, that's, oh, here we go again. Givenchy Angel Demo, Le Secret. <laughs> so, the next question is favorite nail polish, and... I love this nail polish that I'm about to show you. I love the whole kind of range of the nail polish that I'm about to show you, but I love this nail polish. To me, it's like the perfect color. So this is actually by L'Oreal. Did I just blow your mind there? Because it's not like OPI or SE or China Glaze. So this is by L'Oreal, and it's called... 
It's number 107 and it's called Royalty Reinvented. And I just love this. It's not what I'm wearing on my nails today because my nails need some serious loving. Tender loving care needs to happen here. But it, I just really love, 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 wait for it, love this nail polish. It's like the perfect purple nail polish. It's like a lavender with a little bit of periwinkle, with a little bit of blue undertones, with a little bit of like everything. It is like the perfect purple nail polish. I really love this nail polish. So the next question is fashion. Like it's like a fashion segment. And the number one is trendy clothing item. Before I talk about fashion, let me just say, um, I don't really buy clothes. And I know you're like, what? What do you mean you don't buy clothes? I don't really buy clothes. Um, the reason I don't buy clothes is because I work five or six days out of the week. And I have to wear professional attire because I work at a bank. And yes, I did wear this to work at a bank. So wouldn't you trust me with your money? I mean, <laughs> I go to work. And then when I come home, by the time I come home, I'm exhausted. All I'm going to do is lay down with Elver and like, talk about my day and by that time I'm wearing sweatpants and when we go out I'll you know throw some jeans on and a top but it's not anything that's like oh my god so I'm not a very fashion forward type of girl so the first question is trendy clothing item even though I don't buy clothes I bought this and it's just a sweater I bought it at like a um type of a thrift store type of thing not not really a thrift store but it was like a yeah, we'll say it's a thrift store. So it's like a thrift store. And I love this. As soon as I saw it, I just looked at it and I was just like, I have to have that. I have to have that. I, I Oh my God, I have to have that. <laughs> so I purchased it and it was probably the greatest purchase that I've ever made. It's like, it's kind of like, it's a longer sweater and it has like tribal like print on it. Oh Lord, what is going on? It has like tribal print on it and I think this sweater is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me, ever. <laughs> Don't tell Elver. I feel, what is going on? I feel like it goes with absolutely everything. This is one thing that I actually can wear to work and it's just so comfortable and warm and fashionable and I just love this. I could wear this every day for the rest of my life and be happy. I did wear it in one of my videos. I think it was my Dose of Colors highlighter video and I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. And it, I literally have to fight myself to not wear this in every single video because I just love it. I, all I want to do is come home to it and just say hi. Let's go on to number two, which is comfy clothing item. So I guess the comfiest clothing item that I have for fall would be this sweater right here. Apparently I'm into sweaters. And this sweater, like if you look at it, it's like super, it looks like an afro in a sweater or something like that. Or like, I don't know, like a mustache. Like a whole bunch of mustaches like sewn together or something like that. But I think this sweater is so comfortable. It's like warm and cozy and fuzzy and I just want to sleep in it. It's so comfortable. You guys totally know what I'm talking about. When you have something that is just so warm and comfortable, you just, you just want to live in it. That's what I feel like with this hairy sweater. This is actually a gift from my friend Stacy. Hi Stacy. I love this sweater so thank you Stacey thanks next question is my favorite shoes guys um it's like it was such a no-brainer for me when I read this question I was like my favorite shoes for the fall please I got that I like boots a lot and I like Uggs I do really like Uggs I think they're so warm and they're just so like snuggly and I just really like them my favorite, favorite, favorite pair of shoes to wear in the fall are a pair of slippers. And you're like, you're probably like, what do you mean slippers? But I mean, slippers, like straight up slippers. I've been wearing them this whole video. I love these. These are Ugg slippers. I don't think they have like a name other than just Ugg slippers. So I'm just going to call them Ugg slippers. <laughs> They're Ugg slippers. And I bought these such a long time ago and I wear the crap out of them you can see the wear like this is supposed to be like fur like how it is right here it's supposed to be like that and um it's not <laughs> it's not it's it's probably not throughout like the entire shoe no it's like it's completely worn i wear these to death wherever i go because like i said i don't go out so if i'm going somewhere i'm probably going to like put gas or i'm gonna go like to Dunkin Donuts to grab like a smoothie. I will wear these no matter where I'm going because like I said, I don't go, you know, out. <laughs> so 
So, if like, if I'm going to the grocery store, I'll just throw on my slippers. I don't see why not. If I'm just going to put gas, uh, I'm going to throw on my slippers. If I'm going to the ATM, uh, I'm going to put my slippers on. So, I live in these slippers, and I love them. I just love these slippers so dearly. And I probably should get a new pair, but these slippers are like $120, and... <laughs> It's a lot of money for a pair of slippers, but since I live in them, it's probably worth it. So, this is my favorite pair of shoes. The last question is favorite accessories, and to me that means jewelry. So, my favorite accessories for the fall is the same as every other season because I uh, wear the same accessories. I mean, <laughs> I literally, this is, this is my whole jewelry life. I wear my three earrings in my hole, maybe. Maybe, because I have three holes. So I'll wear my three earrings, like in each hole. Maybe, if I'm feeling fancy. Um, I'm going to wear a watch. Maybe, again, if I have time to even put a watch on. And I'm going to wear my promise ring. And that's it. That's that's my whole jewelry. Maybe I'll wear, I have a Katie necklace. Maybe I'll wear the Katie necklace. But mm, sometimes it just doesn't happen. So my favorite accessory for fall is just my promise ring. Because it's my favorite accessory for all the time. That's my favorite accessory of all time, forever, until I get the uh, the big homie accessory. You know what I'm saying? If you are interested in doing this tag and you're watching this video right now, you're tagged. You're officially tagged. I tag you. So let me know what your favorite things about fall are. And if you do the video, just leave me a comment down below so I can check yours out. And I would just love to see your video. If you guys do 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 if you guys do end up doing this video just leave me a comment down below because i would love to check your video out please do like this video if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram i'll just leave my name right here and it's always in the description bar down below and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye